Hello and welcome to Mentoring the Mentors, an institute that accelerates your learning curve. My dear educators, this is Minakshi Nanula and I am going to share with you, as I promised, like different kinds of sample papers for the three levels for appearing in CEE exam, right? Common Entrance Exam by NCERT if you want to pursue teacher education programs, be it MED, be it MED Integrated, MSEED or all of different kinds of programs they are there. So my lovely educators, today we're going to talk about in this video, we shall be discussing the programs, the three programs like BAB Ed, BSE B Ed and MSE Ed. So for all these three programs, obviously you will be appearing in after completing your 12th standard. Okay, so after completing your 12th standard, when you are appearing, obviously the level of this language, this reasoning and the teaching aptitude will be according to your age. So my dear educators, here is rather I should say the students who have just completed 12th standard. Okay, or they want to appear for that. They want to pursue teaching as a career. They want to go ahead with BA, BA, BSc, BA, MSc. Ed, uh, I mean, in PCM, that integrated course. So, dear students, this is for you, right? You all are younger to me. You all are my students who are going to appear for it. So, here you go, my dear educators. I have my dear students, right? Pardon me if I time it again. Obviously, you are the would-be educators. So, here it is. Um, it's already mentioned, I've already told you that the question paper will come in English and Hindi. And I have already told you how many questions will come in 80 questions. 80 questions will be there. Okay. So 80 questions will be there. And all the questions, they are compulsory also. Right. And the booklet is bilingual. I've already shared with you. In case any ambiguity in any question, English version uh, will hold good. If Hindi wale ko English man waad abin jaise bhi dekhna hai, vice versa, you will be able to see that. So, dear uh, students, here you go. Now, I have already shared with you, each question is followed by four alternatives, optional questions there. Select only one which you consider the most appropriate, right? And shade the relevant circle, OMR aapko fill karna aata hai. You have appeared in uh, different exams. So selecting more than one answer for a question, even if one of the selected answer is correct, would result in it uh, being treated as incorrect answer. So ek hi aapko circle mein fill karna hai. Correct answer will carry two marks each. Wrong answer ka kitna deduction hai? 0 0.5 marks. Minus 0 0.5 marks, okay? And the questions that you are not attempting, obviously you will not get, uh, get any marks or nothing will be. Uh, dedu uh, deducted also. Now, this booklet has three sections. Many last video me the language proficiency, teaching aptitude, and reasoning ability. Now, out of hundred percent, sixty percent will be calculated from the scores in hundred percent. जो आपका result बनेगा, उसमें से sixty percent कहाँ से calculate होगा? In twenty questions of the language, thirty questions of the teaching aptitude, and thirty questions of the reasoning ability. Right? And now, baki 40% kaan se aayega? Rest 40% will be calculated as per the guidelines in the information brochure of CE2016. Wo bhi hum next video mein discuss karenge. Now, answer should only be marked on the OMR sheet. No answer should be written on the textbook, test booklet. Pata hai aapko itna to abhi tak. Chaliye. I told you, read the following passage carefully and choose the most suitable word from the given options to fill in the blanks. So, first of all, what are you doing? Fill in the blanks. You will read the passage. And in this case, you have got four options for each blank. Ke liye, you have got four options. Nah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's so easy. Life is a complex web. What will come? Tell me. Web 2, but that is not there. Web of interrelated causes and cannot be explained through a simplistic formula of one cause. One cause ki baat ho hai obviously leads to one specific result. So this is how I mean you can do it. Obviously, I am not paper solve nahi kar rahi. Aapko sirf bata rahi hai, but let me tell you, it's so easy for you to do. Now, question seven and eight, six tak to usme se aagaya. The following five sentences come from the paragraph. The first and the last sentences are given. First and the last, and choose the right order in which three sentences should appear to complete the paragraph. So sequencing up karna hai. 
you can do it right so you can do it sequencing you can do now let's move ahead my dear educators so here aapko batana hai kis sequence mein wo hai so you can do three questions you can do about the find the sequencing and agla question kya aayega read the passage given below and answer the questions that follow comprehension you have been doing a lot in 12th standard 10th standard okay so comprehension that is also mcq based you can do it and the next one is the following sentences have an error in the part one of the sentence find the part one two three four which has the error at uh, detecting the error you have been doing it so relax i mean you can do it right so it's not that tough for you to do okay now what's next wait a minute i guess i've scrolled it down it's a bit slow so so this was the comprehension okay and now chaliye aapka part a ho gaya now let's come to part b it's not editable that's why the image is looking like that part b mein teaching aptitude a teacher to be effective in the class should kya karega teacher introduce a lesson before he or she starts teaching have command over his or her language have command over his or her subject or all of the above इफेक्टिव होने के लिए क्या होना चाहिए सब्जेक्ट के ऊपर कमांड होने चाहिए लैंग्वेज के ऊपर भी कमांड होना चाहिए और इंट्रोड्यूस करना चाहिए लेसन बिफोर ही और शी स्टार्ट्स टीचिंग सो ऑब्वियसली ऑल ऑफ द अबव सो लाइक दैट यू विल बी हैविंग सम क्वेश्चंस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ को करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज इन स्कूल इज ऑलराउंड डेवलपमेंट के लिए होती है डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द इंटरेस्ट इन करिकुलम मेकिंग द स्कूल एटमॉस्फेयर अब आप देखिए कि इसमें स्ट्रेंथनिंग द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द कम्युनिटी एंड द स्कूल किस चीज के लिए होती है तो आपको इसके अकॉर्डिंगली मेक श्योर यू स्टडी एम खाली तीस क्वेश्चन पढ़ के नहीं आएगा यू हैव टू स्टडी इन डिटेल ऑल्सो पेडोगोजी के बारे में देन ओनली यूल बी एबल टू अपियर फॉर दिस एग्जाम ओके तो मेक श्योर आप पेडोगोजी की कोई एक अच्छी सी बुक खरीदे उसको पढ़े ओके यू कैन वॉच दो समीडियोज ऑल्सो ये सब कुछ किस चीज के लिए आपको पता पेडोगोजी के आपको थर्टी मार्क्स का आएगा राइट right? चलिए और उसके बाद में आपके पास क्या आ रहा है रीजनिंग राइट right? ये सारे पेडागोजी से रिलेटेड हैं फिफ्टी तक आपके पेडागोजी से रिलेटेड होंगे या नाउ आफ्टर दैट पार्ट सी आपका आ गया ठीक है तो ये आपके इस तरीके से वर्बल नॉन वर्बल जो हैं वो रीजनिंग के क्वेश्चंस आएंगे और आपको उसमें नॉन वर्बल वर्बल रीजनिंग की जो बुक है वो परचेज करनी होगी उसके अकॉर्डिंगली यू गो हेड विद दैट सी ये एनोलॉजीज आपने सब करी हुई हैं ऑलरेडी वेन यू वर अपियरिंग इन अदर पेपर्स अगर पहली बार भी अपियर हो रहे हैं ट्वेल्थ के बाद पहले किसी एग्जाम में अपियर नहीं हुए डोंट यू वरी अबाउट माई लवली स्टूडेंट्स आपको क्या करना है रीजनिंग की बुक खरीदे उसकी प्रैक्टिस करिए यू विल बी एबल टू गेट नंबर ऑफ वीडियोज ऑल्सो पर जितना प्रैक्टिस करेंगे उतना आपके लिए अच्छा बिकॉज वेन आई अपियर इन बी एड दो तो ईयर्स अगो बट स्टिल लेट मी टेल यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस आई परचेज द डिफरेंट बुक्स फॉर रीजनिंग बहुत सारी प्रैक्टिस करिए खूब प्रैक्टिस करिए राइट एंड लाइक वाइज पैडोगोजी के आप डिटेल्स पढ़िए देन यू कैन गो हेड विदर ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट नहीं है आप लोगों के लिए एंड लैंग्वेज तो आपने ऑलरेडी टेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ में जो पढ़ा है उसी लेवल का आएगा right so let me see if i can share another video by converting the same into editable form and it will be easy for me to discuss also stay tuned to mentoring the mentors and in my upcoming videos i'll be talking about another two levels of question papers thank you have a nice day